I'm going to show you how to set up Google Tag Manager. Um, first, log into your Google Tag Manager account and set up a new tag. We're going to actually set up two tags, uh, this one and this one. And I'm just going to show you what we did. So click Set Up New, and you'll end up in here. Um, so this will be the first tag we create. Um, you need to give it an arbitrary name up here. It can be anything you want. Um, make sure you select Link Click Listener. These are the default values here and here. Um, then click Save. And then you need to click or Add a Firing Rule. Click Add and call it All Pages. Um, select URL here, matches regx, and then dot star. And those are the default values as well. Um, then go ahead down here, click Save, and then create a new tag. And we're going to create this one here. Um, give it another arbitrary name. This can be anything you want. Select Google Analytics from the tag type. Put your Google Analytics uh, property ID in there. Um, and then down here, under Track Type, choose Event from this dropdown. In the Category, choose Event. In Action, choose Element URL. Label, choose URL Path. And Value, um, this is a, an integer, so anything 0 to whatever. Um, and you'll have to dig deep to figure out what that means. But uh, you can put 0 to start or 1. Um, and then as you get, you know, once you figure out what it is, you can update it accordingly. Um, these are the default values down here. Go ahead and click Save. And then you go over to Firing Rules. We're going to create two firing rules. First one is um, an arbitrary rule based on, um, on a element ID. So in our case, we put it here. I'll show you. It's in the HTML markup of this page. And if you scroll here, I'll just view the source of this page here. So this Terms of Agreement link here on our web page, you'll see it has an ID of hourly terms of service in the HTML markup. And that's what we put right here. Um, so you're going to select Element ID, Contains, and then whatever this ID is in that link, that's what you're going to put there. In our case, it was this. So go ahead and click Save. And then you also need to create this another firing rule called GTM Click. Um, so go ahead and call it that, and then you're going to do event equals gtm dot link click with a capital C and click. Go ahead and save, and you're going to go um, create. Click. Uh, go ahead and save this page, and then click create version, and you'll end up right here. And if you want to test it out, you can do preview, preview and debug, and then you just go back to the live page after that after you click that when you're in debug mode and it, you'll see a little pane that comes up down here. See here it says listen for hourly terms of service. Those were these are the two arbitrary names that we listed in our uh, in our tags. And then when I click this link you're gonna notice that both of these change. So I'm gonna click it, you'll see it change both of these. That means it's working. Uh, if those don't change it means that something's broken. Um, so go ahead and exit preview mode. So in this case, it is working. And then click Publish. And then you're done with the, the Tag Manager end, but you still need to add the, uh, the, the code to your website. Um, so there's Tag Manager Embed Code. To Users and Settings, click on Settings. And you'll see that there's a code snippet here. So you're just going to copy that. And then in your HTML markup, um, this is going to be a little bit different on every website, but in your HTML markup, you need to add it right after the body tag. And you'll see it here. Um, I'll do a view source real quick. And here's the body tag that's in every web page on the internet. And here's our Google Tag Manager code that we copy and pasted into there.